Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia, I'm the owner of Handmade Jewels on Instagram and Facebook. If you're new here, welcome, I'm glad you're here. This is a knitting podcast, usually when I talk about mainly knitting, some crocheting, a lot of yarn, um, all kinds of stuff like that. So I am an x-ray tech, that is my full-time job during the day, what I do. And then I have a little, this Handmade Jewels is my little side hustle. I just make animals for people um, whenever I can. I don't make very many, but I call it a side hustle because I make a little bit of money on it and I'm able to buy more yarn with that money. So it's amazing. I love it. Um, I'm interrupting the monthly podcast videos to bring you a video about my stash. So this is um, a stash tour is what I'm gonna call it. I have a lot of yarn that I've had for a long time and we are moving. So my husband and I purchased a house. We live in a basement apartment right now. It's my in-laws house and we finally purchased a home of our own. So we're moving in like a month. So I have things to pack and I thought this might be a good time to just share the yarn that I have in my stash, some of the intentions that I have for that yarn and then pack it as I go. So it's like half of me packing, half making a video. So I have this decent, which I thought was a decent sized Tupperware bin that I bought from Walmart. I'm now thinking that this might not be big enough because I have a lot of yarn. Like it's definitely not gonna fit in just this one. Obviously not all my yarn, I'm just, I wanted this one specifically for my very special hand dyed yarns that I have. Um, so we'll see how it fills up as we go here. Also my washing machine is going through its spin cycle right now and it's incredibly loud. So I might have to stop and then start again a few times. So bear with me, I'm sorry about that. I did not plan this accordingly. I'm gonna start with um, some more bigger quantities of yarn that I have, um, that I actually have like projects in mind for that I just haven't got around to making yet. And you've probably seen a few of these already, but we'll start off with this beautiful yarn here. Oh yeah. So <clears throat> this is really blowing up the color. This is way more accurate back here by my head. So this is, um, yeah, pretty accurate. This is the Knit Picks Gloss line in the fingering weight and it is a 70% merino wool 30% silk so it's very drapey you can see that already like just looking at the skein like how it how it's like falling to the sides when I hold it in the middle it's not very sturdy very drapey very summery I bought this yarn um because the colorway was going out of like going out like it's goodbye Whenever it says goodbye on nitpicks, that means they're not going to be restocking this color once it's sold out. So I bought, I want to say six or seven skeins of this um, with the intent. So I made the Flutter Butt Shorts by Jessie Made Designs last summer. And then I had the intention to knit a shirt to go with it. So I would have a matching summery lounge set. Um, so I had to jump on and buy all of this all at once. And that is why I still have some left here. So I still plan to make the flutter butt shirt with this yarn. So I have three full skeins plus like a half a skein, I wanna say, already caked up from those the shorts that I made. This is the color Velveteen. It's a really pretty like mauvey pinkish purple color. Really love it. I think it looks good with my skin tone. It's a nice like neutral-ish I want to say like it's not like whoa in your face but it's still like a color which I kind of love so that's the first piece of yarn going in the box I don't know if I should just do the hanks in the box or what I want to keep them all together so I might just like squish that like that in the bottom perfect all right on to the next big group of yarns that I have here. 
Uh, let's talk about these. So this is the Broco Modern Cotton. Sorry, it's not focusing. That is also not accurate back here. It's definitely more accurate. So it's like a creamish, taupey, tan, very light tan color. It's sort of lean. I don't know if it's leaning green because of the shirt that I'm wearing with right now, the side, but it's definitely like a cooler, I want to say cooler tan color. Um, this color is 1603. That doesn't help you at all, but um, it's also incredibly drapey. So if you hold this in the middle and see how it falls, you can see this is going to be crazy drapey. Um, this is 100% cotton. Nope, it's not. I lied. I'm sorry. It'd be helpful if I read the tag. Um, it's 60% Pima cotton, 40% modal rayon, and that's giving it that really shiny, you can't even really tell, but it is incredibly shiny. It's very high luster. Um, my mom had originally bought one of these. We bought these from the Creative Knitter in Ridgeway, Ontario. My mom bought this with the intent of possibly making a blanket, like a granny square, like summery blanket out of this. But it really, she didn't like the shine in it. And I was like, mm, I've never worked with anything like this before. Um, so I bought it off her. Uh, she, so she caked up this one to try and uh, crochet that blanket. So I can show you the tag here. If you haven't heard of Barocco, this is what their tags look like. I would say this is a worsted weight, maybe a DK. It doesn't say, but the hook size is a five millimeter hook is the recommendation. So it's probably a worsted weight. And I plan to make the Napa sweater by Nicole Knits. So she's Nicole, Nicole, Nicole Zia, X-I-A. But on Instagram, she's knee, which is K-N-E-E, -E, Cole Knits. So if you want to go look her up or you can look up the Napa sweater on Ravelry, it'll be there. It's like a really pretty summery drapey sweater um, with like bobbles all the way down the sleeves. It's really cute. I'll put a picture here of that. Um, but I just love this neutral color and someday I will make this into something beautiful. So that's going to go into the bin, into the bottom here. We'll just stack her up, keep them all together. So I've got four full skeins, actually five full skeins for that blanket. I'm already, look at, I'm already, I'm literally two things in. There's no way it's fitting in here. Just saying. That's okay. All right, moving on. Um, yes, so I've talked about this as well. This yarn is beautiful. So this is the Selkirk Worsted from Fleece and Harmony. They are located in um, PEI. I was trying to think of the name of the Belfast, Belfast, Prince Edward Island. So I was there this past summer and we went to her shop again. I bought these three skeins to make a ranunculus sweater. Most of you know what the ranunculus is and you can make it in pretty much any gauge, any size of yarn. So this is a worsted weight yarn. I think three skeins will be enough. I have no idea. I did calculate it when I bought this to make sure I had enough. We'll see if I don't, We'll change it up, but um, yeah, this is 100% wool. Sheep wool from PEI, dyed at Fleece and Harmony. This is the colorway chestnut. And I have three of these skeins. So we shall see what happens with that. Into the bin. Love those. All right, I'm gonna quick share about some other just tonal colors that I have. So these two 
yarns here. These are from Sorella Yarn. And this is from her, like, oh, it says right there, the Cozy Collection. That was, like, a long time ago. And back in 2020, maybe, I want to say. That's when I first started getting into hand-dyed yarn. I bought these. Uh, I bought three of these. Actually, one of them is caked up with a project right now. So I already have a project started for these. Um, these are going to go into the granny square blanket that I'm making. The, I'm calling it the quilt granny square blanket. Um, so this is like the neutral background color for most of the blanket. So I have a purpose for these. They just need to be stored for now until I have time to kick them up and use them. This is the classic sock base. Um, it's a 100% superwash merino wool. And this is the fingering weight yarn, obviously, and the color white oatmeal. So it's right on the front there. Beautiful. Another like very neutral cream color. I'm really like boring you guys with the cream right now. I'm sorry. It's gonna get fun. All the hand dyed ones are coming. Those are technically hand dyed as well, but yeah. Another set of colors that I'm putting into that granny square blanket are these two. These are more recent purchase that you've probably seen. I bought these from Sorella Yarn as well. These are the classic sock, 100% superwash merino wool, but this is a two ply. So you can see there, you can actually see the twist. They changed their classic sock base. So it used to be a four ply. This one I bought back in 2020 and now it's a two ply, which is fine. I don't really care. I'll use them together. Not a huge deal. Um, I actually like the two ply. I like the feel of it better. I like how squishy it is and yeah. So this is the color. You should write a book from the Gilmore Girls collection that she just uh, released a couple months ago, I wanna say. So I got these a while ago. And these will also be a background color for some of those granny squares. It's gonna be a big blanket as you can see. One more color that will be a background color for that blanket is this. Just a classic cream. This is as cream as it gets. This is an undyed, they call it natural. So I got this from Polka Dot Creek and it's just how they buy the skein when it comes in the mail. They don't do anything to it, they just sell as is. Um, this is just a 50 gram skein of it. I'm gonna buy more obviously, it doesn't really matter for me to have them all right now because it's not a dye lot it's just a natural color it's never going to change so i will buy more of that eventually as i need it this is also the classic sock but this is from polka creek obviously so it's a 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon and yeah that'll go into my blanket as well so i'll smooth that in there with those Perfect. We're getting to the top already. <laughs> now I will share. This is another oldie from Sorella Yarn. We're gonna keep going on the Sorella train here. This is also from the Cozy Collection in the color Roasted Chestnut. It's a nice, very nice brown tonal. Um, this is also in the Classic Sock 100% Superwash Merino. And I'm making a muscle burrow hat out of this for my husband. So he's been bothering me about making him a hat for a while. And I haven't got around to it, but this is the scheme that I will be making a hat for him out of. So it's ready for me whenever I have a chance to get to it. It'll be super nice on his head. He has blonde hair like me. So it'll be nice, nice like contrast to his the rest of his body. I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. It's a good color. It's a good neutral. So I only have one scene of that and that is all you need to make a muscle burrow hat. Um, it's amazing. I plan to use this entire skein. I don't want any leftovers so I hope that works out for me. I've never made one before so we'll see how that goes. I am so sorry we're still going with the browns and neutrals. It's super boring. I'll do something interesting now. Moving on to 
some yarn from the wool baron you guys look at how beautiful this is that is stunning so this is self-striping yarn i got two 50 gram skeins of that are these i'm lying this is 50 grams all together but split in two so i can so i can start and end at the same spot on each of them I really appreciate them in two separate because I always, when I'm doing uh, self striping now, I separate the things before I, I separate it into two balls before I start the socks so that I know how much I have for each sock. So I really like that and the um, accent color that it comes with is amazing. So this is the colorway Electric Boots on her high twist fingering yarn. It's an 8515 Superwash Merino Nylon. It's also a two ply. You can see that squishy twist in there. Sorry, it's not focusing. But it's like neutral but neon at the same time. And I'm obsessed with this. So these will be obviously made into a pair of socks. And maybe this summer. Maybe. We'll see if I get around to that. So, that's that. Love that yarn. Now, some more fun stuff. This is another new one that I got from Sorella Yarn. This is also from the Gilmore Girls collection. Um, this main scheme is the colorway I Smell Snow. I love whenever Lorelai says that on Gilmore Girls. It's my favorite thing ever and this blue accent mini scheme to go with it is dance marathon which is from a scene with uh dean and rory it's kind of when they break up very pivotal moment in gilmore girls so this is on the nylon sock set it's an 80 20 superwash merino nylon blend it's so this main scheme is 100 grams and then the mini is 20 grams so that'll also be made into a pair of socks. What time am I at? 17 minutes, it's not bad. Now I'm gonna kinda zoom through the rest of it because most of the rest of it I don't have any plans for at the moment. Just kind of random scenes that I've purchased um, along the way. So we'll just kinda run through some of these fun ones. I have to go grab them, give me one second. Okay, I'm back. So I gathered all of the hand dyed yarn, the rest of the stuff that I had left in the shelf there. I'm gonna kind of fly through these ones a little bit quicker than I was going with the um, yarn that I have intentions for, obviously because these yarns I have zero plans for. I just have them in my stash for whenever I wanna use them for socks or whatever. Um, maybe holding them together with something else, I'm not sure, but I just got them because they were pretty or they were part of a yarn subscription that I had been going like been signed up for or whatever um yeah so we'll just start going through them this is from Woolberry Fiber Co this is a very beautiful purplish um magenta I want to say color this is the colorway autumnal walks in her berry sock base it's a 80% superwash BFL 20% nylon base it's a very beautiful color I will put that there. Here's another Woolberry Fiber Co. This is a tweed. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. This is the colorway Cinnamon on her Berry Tweed, which is an 85% Superwash Merino, 15% Neps. So nice, love that for fall. This is a scheme that is falling apart, sort of. <laughs> this is from Knit Picks Yarn. This is the um, Static Collection Fingering Weight Yarn in the colorway Glow. So it's kind of like a self-striping, not really. It does have like a sort of pattern to it. So I'm excited to knit that up and see what that looks like. I have another one that's like this. Here it is, that I bought a little more recently. So this is also a Static from Knit Picks. It's going to do that same like kind of weird patterning. And this is the color Prairie House. 
it looks really weird in the scheme, but I think it's going to look really pretty all knit up. So those, these two will definitely be socks just because of the patterning. Um, yeah. And their fingering weight and you can't really make it into anything else. Maybe a hat, but I'll definitely make these into socks, probably for gift knits and things like that. Um, here's another self-striping. This is from Nomadic Yarns. I got, so she's on Etsy, I believe. This is the colorway March Family Christmas in her twisty sport base. So it is 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. This is also a two-ply. That's why it's twisty. Very pretty color. It's um, supposed to be Christmas, like a sort of wintry Christmassy, not traditional Christmas, obviously, but very pretty nonetheless. This is a scene from Life in the Long Grass. I purchased this in Alberta. It's beautiful. It's pink and yellow and happy. And this is the colorway Frosting. And this is her twist sock base, which is like a two-ply twist. It's an 80-20. Very pretty speckly yarn. Love that. And... Oh, I like this one. This one's for fun. So this is from Polka Dot Creek Yarn. This is a sock set. Um, this is a sock set called Lucky. And it has a gold and green beer little mini scheme to go with it. So this is a very St. Patrick's Day yarn. Definitely making these into socks. I was hoping to do that this year, but I don't know if I'm going to have time to. Especially now that we're moving at the end of March. So this might get... Um, put on hold till next March, I'm thinking. But this is her uh, classic sock base and it's a 75-25. 100 gram and then two 20 gram minis. Love that, super fun. Um, this is from a Woolberry Fiber Co as well. This is a worsted weight yarn. I've never actually bought a worsted hand dyed yarn before. This was the very first one. Still haven't used it. This is on her Berry Worsted. It's a 100% superwash merino wool in the colorway Hearth. Very pretty pink with like browns. Very warm color. Probably make this into like mittens or a hat or something like that. Just because it's only one skein of worsted. And moving on, ooh, this is a very special one to me. I've had this for many, many years. Many, many years. This is from Explorer Knits and Fibers. So if you know anything about Explorer Knits, you know that they're huge now and their collections sell out in like minutes. Um, I bought this before she really became popular. She had a Harry Potter collection and I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. This is the colorway eternal glory and then the mini skein is crookshanks it's from the fourth book the book four goblet of fire and that is my favorite book so that was kind of why i picked this colorway but i'm glad that i like the color as well it's very like fall but also super harry potter like and i love it it's crazy to me that i still like i don't know it's like such a prized possession to me because now it's like I'm probably never going to buy from her again because she's from the States and like prices are crazy, exchange rates are crazy, customs fees, you know, everything's just like increased in price and it's just nice to still have some of her yarn in my possession. I love it. So this is on her Denali sock. It's a two ply 80, 20, it's a hundred grams with a 20 gram mini. And I'm excited to make this into some socks someday. Moving on, uh, another Woolberry Fiber Co. This is on the Berry Merino base. So it's a 100% superwash merino, fingering weight. And this is the colorway Reminisce. It's like a gold, very gold neutral, but like with the green speckles. It's very pretty, sort of Christmassy. It came with my advent, I think. Did it? I think it did. Yeah. It was the advent color for that year. I think it was 2022. Doesn't say. But yeah, very pretty gold color. Does not really go with my skin at all. 
So this will probably be socks or something else for someone else in my life. This is from Hickory Lane Fiber Co. This is the one and only skein I have from Hickory Lane. Super nice girl, still follow her on Instagram, she's adorable. This is the colorway Moana from her Disney collection. Um, it's pretty and pink and I love the brown speckles in it. I'm obsessed. Sorry, it's focusing on my head. Love this color. I need to find something very special to use this for. Maybe like a summery top. I don't know if it's my color either. Hmm. I feel like it isn't. Hmm. It's like way too close to my skin color. I don't know what to do. Probably just socks. But I feel like I have, I'm going to have a lot of socks if I make all these into socks. Moving on. Uh, another Woolberry Fiber Co. This is a Berry Sock, the 8020 base. And this is the colorway Melted Popsicle. So pretty, you guys. I love this one. So summery, so fun. Definitely making this into something fun at some point in my life. These two skeins are also from Woolberry Fiber Co. This is the color Ode to Summer on her berry sock. And then this is the Surrey, very Surrey. And I am currently making something out of these. So I have another fingering weight skein of this that is already caked up into a project. I'm making the Bennett Sister Shawl by Lindsay Fowler. And it's basically a half fingering, it's a triangle shawl, half of it's fingering weight, half of it is fingering held with Surrey. So I'm waiting to get to the half that has the Surrey held with it, but I just love this color. It's very fall and the gold, reddish, pinkish vibes are amazing. So this already has a project sort of in mind for it. It's not sort of, it does. I also have some more mohair that I don't have a project for right now, which is kind of weird. I have two skeins from Lycan and Lace. Very beautiful. This is like a purplish gray. That's pretty accurate back here by my head. This is the color Linen on her Marsh Mohair. It's 72% kid mohair and 28% silk. These are 250 gram skeins. So really not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet, um, but they're special to me nonetheless. So those are there. And then we've got another stray mohair skein. I have no idea does not have a tag. I don't know where I got this. I know I got it for a Christmas gift, but it doesn't have a tag. So I have no idea where this is from. It's like a greenish, white, cream, green. It's, yeah, like a sage, like my shirt. I'm assuming it's like a 50, maybe it's a 25 gram. So I've had this for a long time because I really don't know what to do with it. Um, maybe it's time to pass it on to someone who does have a purpose for it, but it's pretty. Not sure. Not sure about that. This next one is from Knit Picks. This is the Hawthorne line that is the, sorry, that's not focusing, the Sock Lab. So it was like a kind of an experiment they were doing, I guess. And it was one that wasn't going to stick around for very long. It's a uh, fingering weight, a gray and white marl, as you can see there, it's a two ply marl. Not a huge fan of marl, not gonna lie to you. Don't know why I bought this. I feel like I had um, something in mind, but then I changed my mind and didn't do it. It's an 80% 80, 80 superwash fine highland wool, 20% polyamide. So it doesn't even have any nylon in it. Um, it wouldn't be very good for socks. I could make a top out of this, probably. Like a summer like tank top. I don't know. 
If you have any ideas for this yarn, let me know. I feel like a summer top would be good, but, but it's wool, so that would, I don't know. It's not very soft. It would make a cute hat, maybe a muscle burrow. I don't know. I always hold it up to my head to see if it's going to look good on me. <laughs> Sliding is pretty good for that. It's like half natural, half not. Yeah, moving on. Guys, there's a few more here. Bear with me. Are you enjoying yourselves? I have a lot of hand-eyed yarn, clearly. Another Woolberry Fiber Co. This is another Berry Sock. This is the colorway Winter's Eve. Another very moody blue. It has lots of like dark navy black speckles in it. Very moody color. Um, this is the Berry Sock. So it's an 80... Percent superwash VFL, 20% nylon. Once again, very pretty. Uh, we've got more blues here, I feel like. Another blue from Woolberry Fiber Co. Very sock. This is the colorway Winter Sky. This one has a little bit of like gold and it's a lighter blue. Very cooler, very cool light blue color with pretty speckles. Um, this is from Sorella Yarn. This is the colorway Epcot from the Disneyland collection she did. I made a sweater out of this already. I made the No Frill Sweater by Petite Knit. And I bought three of these, held it with a uh, mohair, and I only used like one and a bit. It was super weird. Like I have like more of this left still caked up in my um, scrap spin. So I can make anything out of this. I love this color, it's so beautiful. The speckles are amazing. Purple is looks pretty good on me and it looked even better with the light purple mohair I held with it. It was super nice. So I still wear that sweater a lot and I'm happy to still have an extra skein that I can make something else out of. This is the classic sock. So this is still the, the old four ply that her sock, classic sock used to be. Um, moving on. This is a Madeline Tosh. We haven't seen one from her. Very beautiful. I bought this in Alberta from Statement Junkie Yarn Shop in Edmonton. This is the colorway Antique Moonstone. It's like a bluish with like rust color, very pretty. This is the Tosh sock base, so it's like a two ply, 100% uh, super wash merino wool. So Brock picked this out. He said you can only buy yarn if you're buying it to make me something. So I had to buy a blue. Of course, Madeline Tosh is like has like the best pinks ever, and they were so beautiful. But it's okay. I have this blue. I have a skein of Madeline Tosh, and that's all that matters. So I will make this into something for Brock, probably a pair of socks, just cause it's pretty variegated and not sure it'd be good for a hat. I'm also making him a hat in another color. So probably a pair of socks. More, a lot more Woolberry. Sorry guys. I, I was in like a subscription and I got a full skein every month for like an entire year. So I have a lot of Woolberry. I went through a big phase of loving her. This is the color Frosted Window Pane. I absolutely love this color. This right here is giving me life. Whoa. This is like an icy blue with very rusty orange, gold, large amounts of like color in it. This is also the Berry Sock, the 80-20 blend. And another one, this is the colorway October from Mulberry Fiber Co. Love how neutral this is, but still like exciting. So it's got a lot of cream, a lot of like army green. Sorry, I'm still focusing on my head. And lots of browns. It's really pretty. This is also the berry sock. And we've got more. This is the colorway Enchanted Forest. It's a very like snake green, 
with blackish bluish amount like large parts of color I wouldn't call that a speckle because it's a lot very pretty this is also the berry sock um let's split it up a little bit here and do oh yes so this is another explorer fibers this is before she turned into explorer knits so before she was forward explorer knits and then she changed it to explorer fibers and now she's explorer knits and fibers this is this is amazing so this colorway is called pensive this is also Harry Potter inspired and once again I I feel like I can't make this into something because it's like a prized possession that I can't believe I have like an old old skein to prove that I was into Explorer Nets before she was cool <laughs> and this is on the Teton sock or I think it's Teton 7525 I really love that. It's like a blue from the Pensieve in Harry Potter. A couple more. Four more, I think. Another Woolberry. This is the colorway Wheat on her berry sock. This is just a tonal, very golden color. Looks pretty good with my skin. And another Woolberry. This is the color Glisten. Pretty like a neutral cream with grayish colors in it grayish purple I want to say very pretty all right these last two are also very special to me they are from Sorella yarn from the Taylor Swift co collection the very first time she came out with it so this is more of like a pooling the way that they dye this yarn kind of makes it look like a striping ish yarn um this is the colorway evermore on the classic sock which is 100 percent superwash merino wool very pretty color i love how like fallish it is and i plan to make a marseille sweater by petite knit out of these skeins and they're in a fancy box. I think I've shared these on here before. Um, the Happy Place yarn from Hobie. So I have five skeins of this. It's a very like yellowish cream color. This is the color. Oh, I don't know. Almond, I believe. And this is the Melange. Um, so yeah, it's a collab that they did with TL Yarn Crafts. And it's a 20, it's a 50% wool, 50% cotton. So it's a little bit softer, still has like the durability of the wool and it's not like overly heavy. So this is a worsted weight, I believe. Yeah. So I'm gonna make the Marseille sweater with this and do, oh, sorry, I'm moving you around and do the stripes they're like pretty thick stripes in this. I saw someone do it with another Sorella yarn that was kind of like the same dye style and it looked amazing. I loved it. So I think that that's a good match. I've been struggling to know what to do with these. So I feel like that will be a good project. I'm gonna also make like a pair of socks probably out of this cause I'll have a lot of extra, but that's the plan for the original skeins. Don't know what I was trying to say there. I'm just gonna leave all of these together in this box so that I know they're together whenever I wanna start working on that sweater. Guys, that's it for hand-dyed yarn. That was a lot. There's also always like mini skeins and the scraps. I'm not gonna go through those obviously but as you can see, I have way too much yarn and it's time for me to stop buying yarn until I work through a lot of this. This, yeah, has kind of been an eye opener for me. Just like to know that I really, really don't need to buy any more yarn. 
for a long time. And I have more yarn coming in the mail. But now that we have a house and we're getting a dog and there's going to be more expenses. So it's definitely time to cut back on spending and start knitting. <laughs> I will slowly work my way through this. So hold me to it. Call me out if I'm buying too much yarn. Say, Julia, what about that stash tour? You have so much freaking hand dyed yarn. It's insane. And I have more. Like, guys, look at this. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And then this is my, all of my, um, this looks on my head, my DK cotton yarn that I use for my crochet animals. So that's sort of like, I need that for my business. But the rest of this stuff is very unnecessary. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in a couple weeks for my March knitting podcast. Have a good day.